Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a 2009 Yukon two-wheel drive SLT short wheel base. What it means is that it's not the long one. It's the one uh, that's a shorty, okay? It has um, polished wheels with four brand new Michelins that we just have put on them. The tires have, uh, as you can see, still have uh, some of the letters down there. Um, have less than two miles just from here to the tire shop. It is original paint, has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now at our website at vehiclemax.net. Factory running boards, and it's the XFE model. I think that what that means is that it's, um, it's got a, 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 some extra fuel economy or something, and also uh, flex fuel, as you can see back here. Okay, go ahead and research that on the internet. If not, you ask me and I'll find out for you exactly what that means. But I know it's got something to do with the fuel economy. Okay. Polished wheels, four brand new Michelin's again. So I'm showing you, SLT model, original paint, clean title, clean car effects. You can view it on our website right now, vehiclemax.net. Got the backup sensors. That's those little round things there, two per side. Heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection ready for you to plug in there. Here are the other two uh, sensors. Okay, um, has the factory roof rack, you can see it up there. Also, if you're watching this video on Auto Trader, I will tell you it's going to cut off at three minutes. If you want to see the full 10 minute uh, video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Right rear tire, polished wheel, brand new Michelins. Running boards, uh, both sides are perfect. They're not damaged or scuffed up or, or uh, cracked anywhere. It's got, as you can see, the privacy tints. Okay, for the rear, for the rear portion, the right front window is open. Okay, we'll have to check on that, see if that one's got tinted window as well. Original paint, clean title, clean Carfax, no dings, no dents, no major touch-ups of any kind. Uh, no bird droppings, no hail damage, factory fog lights. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it right now. Car has the uh, remote here. I believe this might have a, this got remote start, so let's test that out. You lock the car, press this once and again to hold it. And the car should flash the lights and start. So it does have the remote start. Okay. Go ahead and turn it off by, by pressing this again. That turns it off. Let's go ahead and unlock it. See what this, this one here does. This might just be for the glass. Yeah, that just pops the glass. It does not have a power tailgate. Go ahead and close that up. Rear wiper. We'll pop back here so you can take a look at the seating. Has a bench seat in the back. Uh, so you can put three people back here. They all have an over-the-shoulder belt. Here's the left rear passenger. The middle row uses this one in this direction. And the right rear uses this one in this direction. Okay? In the middle, you got quad bucket seating over there. Okay? Let's go ahead and uh, move back to the inside. I'll leave this open so that you can get some clarity inside. We can see a little better inside. Okay. Unlocking the car. Has black leather interior. Power seat. Lumbar support here. Manual and recliner manual. The door panels are all black or like charcoal I should say with the, uh, with the exception of the wood trimming around here. Power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, automatic headlights, um, remote audio here for your stereo but let's go ahead and get side, inside of it, get it started. Just like the seat back all the way. It is all the way already, okay. Got wo more wood trimming over here, here on the sides, Follows over to the um, passenger side there and continues on to the door. Okay, let me go ahead and get it started. Okay, let's let all the lights settle. In the meantime, we'll turn on the AC. Go ahead and turn off that right front window. And the right front window does, is not tinted and neither is the driver's window, so let's bring them down here. Um, Got curtain side airbags on the front post, the middle post, and I guess I'll get on and show you the left rear post as well. Okay. And we got another one over here. So three side airbags per side. That's a total of six plus the two front airbags. Okay. Uh, here's your uh, rear AC vents for the very far passengers in the back. There's the seating area I was showing you from a different angle. AC here for the middle row passengers. In the middle row, you got bucket seating. Okay, I'll pan over the seats in just a minute. Back off to show you door panels just like the front. 
you know, all solid charcoal here with the wood trimming. Here's your child lock. You stick a key or a screwdriver in here, twist it, and that disables this front, uh, this inside door handle so the way the kids cannot open it, they have to wait for you to open the door. Okay, getting back in here. Car, let's get the AC going. Hot as hell. Okay, um, the AC going, not so loud so you can hear me talk. Pointing in my direction. All right, um, the car is running, there's no lights on. The only thing that it says here is that the rear axis is open clearly because we left the tailgate open to a little more light in here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna lower down the middle the, the back windows, okay. Uh, so anyway, everything's running. I'm gonna rev it so you can see the tack moving, the tachometer. And there's no light on, no check engine light, no airbag light, no SRS lights, no nothing lights, okay. Stereo, let's get it going. Let's see, um, okay, we got a um, XM stereo, which right now is on the preview mode, because you gotta hook up that service, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and find an FM stereo here, where we got band, AM, FM. All right, and you can control the stereo from right here. Yeah. And lower from here. And over here, this is for your uh, changing the source, which goes from AM, FM to XM. We'll put it back on FM and lower that. Okay. This is to mute the audio. Okay. And over here is your cruise control. Let's go ahead and lower it all the way. Uh, car is equipped with the OnStar system. And I'll press that so you can see how that goes. Hello and welcome to OnStar. For a demonstration of OnStar services. Okay, right now it's on demo mode, so let me just turn it off. Your OnStar call has ended. Okay, um, the reason I turn it off is just, it's just going to be a demo, but I'll just tell you essentially what it does. Uh, most important, one, one of the most neat features about OnStar, and I'll pan around the car while I'm speaking, okay? It does have the uh, Bose stereo system, so it's got the upgraded stereo system. You can see over there as well, okay? Um, anyway, going back to the OnStar, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, not only the front ones, but any of the side ones, it sends a signal to the OnStar Center, lets them know you've been in an accident, and if so, uh, they'll they'll contact you, and if you do not respond within, within a reasonable amount of time, they will go ahead and send emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Uh, if you do respond, you can also say, hey, I'm fine, or whatever, or just please call the cops, you know, I've been in an accident. Also, if you um, are running out of fuel and you need to find the nearest gas station, it will give you a turn-by-turn -turn direction on, uh, on which is the nearest gas station. Same thing for uh, hotel lodging, you know, or also for, uh, uh, for a restaurant, you know. Uh, also, if you lock your keys inside your car, they give you a number to call. You give them your credentials, such as your password or whatever it is, username, and they can send a signal out to your car so they can go ahead and... Uh, get the uh, car open for you so it's a great thing to have anyway um, going back uh, let me show you a few other things here these three little buttons this was called the home lane connection and what that does is it connects your um, you can program this to open up your garage door or your gate or your complex or your gate of your house okay I panned over the dash before I'll pan over it again so you can see there's no cracks that's something sometimes happens to these cars in this area here they'll crack but this one is not okay uh, I don't know if I said before, automatic headlights means they come on uh, automatically and they turn off automatically when the sun comes up. Uh, the steering wheel, it's uh, like it's got like a titanium type of look here, you know, nice and neat here. Not like the rubber ones that peel. Um, on your transmission here, as you can see there, you got a P for park, R for reverse, N for neutral, D for drive, and M, that's for manual. So what you do is you shift this lever all the way down to M. And there, uh, you have a button here. It says plus or minus. You move that, and I'll show you what that looks like over here. See, right now it's a manual one, two, three, four. I believe this is five speed only. Nope, six speed. Okay, and you can do that manually. But if you don't care about doing that manually, you can just put it on D and forget about it. But if you like to put a little sport into it, there you go. Uh, center console here, storage. Glove box back here with all the owner's manuals and everything. It looks like it hasn't even been opened. We'll close that. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the car, get under the hood real quick, and uh, we'll conclude this video. 
We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. Our zip code is 33142. We are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5, and on Sundays we are closed. Okay. Vortec motor, V8. Uh, so we can find uh, the size of the motor here. If not, I'll I'll post that on the website. Let's see if it's on this sticker here. Uh, not seeing it on the sticker here, but it's posted here somewhere. It's all original. Never been an accident. Clean title. Clean Carfax. Okay. All right. Again, George 305-218-5462, VehicleMax.net. I want to thank you for watching our video. Bye-bye now.